Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Thirsty Thursday. Don't forget to water your plants. It is January 4th, 2023. Um, and uh, are you chosen by God? Have you thought about that? My source for this video is from the Lion of Judah. Here are two attributes if you are chosen by God. If you have peace, and what are your attribu attributes towards sin? All born again, are you an all, are you a born again child of God? Number one, you are at peace with God. You are, you are, you, you are on good terms with God. Why? Because of what Jesus did on the cross. You make your hearts perfect with him. Amen. Your attitude or it's sin. Those who have been called by God have a hostile attitude towards sin. That's me hands down. Those whom are chosen by God do not accept sin, and they do not celebrate sin like the world. First year, I didn't celebrate Christmas on the day set aside. I celebrate Jesus, his birthday, every bonus day during recess until my mission is accomplished and the good Lord rings the dinner bell, calling me home for supper. When you view the world through the eyes of Jesus, the eyes of a child of God. You are always caring for your heart of gold. You see the world the way he saw it. Then you bring out the truth. Sugarcoating the truth may sometimes yield fruit, yet for others, direct and sometimes harsh words are needed in order for those in denial of the truth to clear the blindfolds off of their eyes. At times, those harsh words may seem hurtful, Yet when those on the receiving end look long and hard in the mirror, they can look and see for themselves what others see as truth. When hiding your truth has been on your agenda for the majority of your sin-filled lives. When you trust people, be prepared to be fooled. Fool me once, yet you will never ever fool me again. Innocent until proven guilty in my eyes has been replaced with guilty until proven innocent. Why? I walk with God now. My duty is to serve him. No longer man's enslavement. I refuse to disappoint our Lord and Savior. I took oaths under God to uphold his laws, not theirs. I've spent the bulk of my life in disobedience. But when I moved to the Florida Keys, the journey that began at Green Acres on October 16, 2019 continued. My celibacy began the moment I left Indiana. I just didn't realize the timeline until I started looking back. When you flip the switch to sin off, you become new again. Born again was much better needed in my life. There will be naysayers. They can open their traps with a pack of lies. Just know if I hear of a source spreading lies about me or others, you better hide because there will be fireballs coming back in your direction. Just so we are crystal clear. I don't tolerate it nor should any of you. My pop's 78th birthday is today. And to think when he was alive, he would tell me how scared he was for me, yet never spoke it out loud. Spoke volumes for the fear he lived with. I always assured him, I've got this pop. And he'd always do one of his, ah, but never spoke a word. When the Facebook memory popped up this AM announcing a memory, 
with our picture at a summertime party. Tears rolled down my face. I said, you see, Dad, there's nothing to be fearful of. Even in homelessness, I still have my strength, despite whatever the enemies throw my way, despite any health hiccups, including my self-inflicted shaving off part of my thumb <laughs> on a pampered chef mandolin. I was warned about by my favorite pampered chef lady, Janice. I can still hear her today. Don't use this without the guard. Famous last words. You'd always think you can just do one more. And that's when that happened. Yowza. So to think back of all the times my pot picked me up when I was out drinking or drove me in the a.m. to pick up my car after a night of drinking where for his non-judgmental role as a father, he never judged me, spoke values. He just asked, did you have a good time? Which my standard answer was always yes. Then I would go home to Princess Harley all alone yet again. Moving to the Florida Keys was different and fruitful. I had my girls. I had Jesus. I had God. I was now never alone, yet realized God was always with me, despite my ignorant decisions. Even had house guests and strangers come stay with us. Some guests were helpful, which yielded fruit, while others were users. They know whom they are, and God saw what they brought with them to our beloved Christian home. Don't bring my past to my present. Since I left that dark and black cloud flat back in Indiana with the pile of gossip that is in need of multiple bars of soap there. Feeding off the enemy's forbidden fruit will never, ever yield fruit. It's amazing to think people can stoop so low as to steal from the homeless. <laughs> Yet I always said to God, if they took something, they needed it more than me. What is your attitude towards sin? If you love this world, the love of the Father is not within you. Your attitude towards sin indeed shows if you were called and chosen by God. We are called to be upright with God. Like Job, I have a zero tolerance to sin. I've been to hell and back. I have no intentions of ever stepping foot back into that dark and sinful world. John 4.23 of the Geneva 15.60 But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship ye Father in spirit and truth, for the Father requireth even such to worship him. It's truly amazing what you see when you walk away from the darkened world, when you walk away from what you endured the majority of your life. And I keep going back to when I was a kid and I'd look around the world like, why is it like this? I didn't see that when I was a kid, but kids today see it. They, they're not sheltered from it. I mean, I don't watch television programs, but to turn on a cable network and hear the language that's used, okay, it's cable, so it's acceptable. I'm sorry. Do you have controls on your television so your children aren't listening to that? Or do you think it's acceptable and allowed? I know I had a mouth like a sailor. And I am so sorry to any of those that I disrespected your children in front of you. I, I, I could kick myself. When you're so trapped in a, in a world full of hate, it becomes part of your everyday language and it just rolls off your tongue 
like saying good morning and good evening or hello and goodbye. Well, not anymore. I remember when I was a kid and I would hear somebody say a swear word and immediately that came out of my mouth was, um, um, that was right under God. And how I made it to where I did and did a complete 360 after my one and only attempted suicide speaks volumes for what is out there right now in this world. So my suggestion to you is get right with God. And you need to do it today before it's too late. Change your attitude about sin and learn how to be peaceful and filled with joy every day. No matter what happens, even my thumb yesterday, I poured salt on it because you know what? Salt heals. And I did it again today because it's going to stop the pain, even though I'm going to endure pain to get there. Life isn't easy. Life isn't a cakewalk. This journey is going to be difficult. It's not easy. Each rung on that ladder to heaven is going to be a big one. Although there may be some easier steps along the way, don't think that it's there's any easy way out. It is a constant job daily to keep the faith in this world where it's trying to pull you back into that darkened cloud of sin. No thanks. I'll put my cross up. And I'm sit, I'm behind my cross. You stay away from me. I don't have time for your nonsense. I don't have time for your biblical stupidity anymore. But hey, that's just me. It's your choice which way you want to go. There's only two places you can go. It's heaven or hell. There is no in between. So if you think you're going to continue to sin and you're going to go to heaven, all you got to do is read in the Bible and you'll find out your fate. If that's, if that's what, what religious sector has been brainwashing you with, you better think again, because that is not of God. You don't go repent and then keep sinning. Then you go repent again and keep sinning. You got to get right with them. And my suggestion is start today. Are you happy with the path you're down? Or are you ready to make some changes in your life? You want to keep being a slave to man's tyranny? Well, that's your choice. But I choose not to. So don't inflict your ideals into my joy-filled life. I'm not going to listen to it, nor am I going to tolerate it. What's good for the goose isn't always good for the gander. And I am not about a sinful world anymore. So I'm going to speak my voice, and I'm going to continue bringing out the truth. And I've got four hard drives all filled with all kinds of ammunition, concrete evidence of poisoning by my beloved of, of my beloved clients from the tyranny of those in authoritative positions. Shame on them for what they've done. And they're going to pay the price. Oh, you bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> that will be justice under God. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye now.